how much would it cost to build a Mecha Godzilla? When I first saw Godzilla vs. Kong and Mecha Godzilla appeared on screen, my mind was blown. How could anyone even imagine something so massive? This isn't just science fiction, it's pure fantasy. But what if it weren't? Could someone like Elon Musk, with his obsession for technology and robots, actually build a Mecha Godzilla? Is it even remotely feasible? Let's break it down by discussing the costs, technology, and what the future might hold. We're going to calculate what it would take to bring this colossal machine to life, breaking the problem into four key components. The frame, the metal structure of the giant, secondary materials, the circuits and sensors that make it come alive, engines and mechanisms, the moving parts that allow it to function, extras and weaponry, the propulsion systems, weapons, and all the tech behind it. One, the frame, a metal fortress. The frame of Mechagodzilla is its backbone, literally the skeleton holding the entire machine together, according to the official Godzilla verses. Kong Guide, this titan is built from a fictional material called nanometal, designed to withstand brutal combat with monsters like Godzilla or Kong. In the real world, we don't have anything like nanometal, but we can substitute it with stainless steel and titanium, two materials known for their incredible strength and widespread use in advanced engineering projects, such as rockets, submarines, and fighter jets. Stainless steel costs about $1,000 per ton, while titanium is pricier at around $1,500 per ton due to its rarity and the difficulty of processing it. But let's be honest, Mecha Godzilla isn't just any machine. To support 600,000 tons of weight, its official weight, and withstand blows from colossal monsters, its materials would need to be at least 10 times stronger than regular steel. For this reason, we'll multiply the base prices by 10, estimating $10,000 per ton of stainless steel, $15,000 per ton of titanium. The frame makes up approximately 70% of Mechagodzilla's total weight, which means we'd need about 420,000 tons of metal. If we split this evenly between steel and titanium, we'd get 210,000 tons of stainless steel, $2.1 billion, 210,000 tons of titanium, $3.15 billion. The total cost of Mechagodzilla's frame would be around $5.25 billion, approximately 94.5 billion Mexican pesos. But that's not the whole story. Constructing pieces on this scale isn't as simple as building cars or skyscrapers. It would require developing entirely new factories and machinery to mold, weld, and assemble metals of such size. You'd also need to design a logistic system to transport and assemble these parts in an appropriate location, possibly a cost comparable to building the frame itself. And this is just the skeleton. 2. Secondary Materials The Nervous System of the Monster The metallic body of Mechagodzilla is impressive, but without its circuits and advanced sensors, it would just be a giant heap of scrap metal. This is where secondary materials come in, acting as the nervous system of the Titan. These include electronic circuits, motion sensors, processors, and advanced communication systems. Many of these components would be made from rare and expensive materials such as gold and copper, essential for circuits and electrical conductivity platinum and tantalum, used in advanced sensors and micro-components, lithium and rare earth metals, necessary for batteries and energy storage. Secondary materials would account for about 10% of Mecha Godzilla's total weight, meaning 60,000 tons. Since these materials are significantly more expensive than steel or titanium, we'll estimate an average cost of $100,000 per ton, which brings the total to $6 billion, approximately 108 billion Mexican pesos. However, this is just the raw material cost. The real challenge lies in designing electronic systems capable of processing data and reacting to threats in real time. For example, Mechagodzilla's sensors would need to detect Godzilla's movements instantly, calculate attack trajectories, and respond immediately. Its communication systems would also need to process and transmit data at incredibly high speeds to keep up with the chaos of battle. 
Developing these systems from scratch would require years of research, cutting-edge technology, and teams of highly skilled engineers, all of which would significantly increase the cost. Engines and Mechanisms The Heart of the Giant For Mechagodzilla to move, it would need engines, gears, joints, and hydraulic systems capable of lifting and controlling thousands of tons with precision. These components are vital for controlling its limbs, tail, jaw, and even internal systems like its weapons and propulsion systems. Assuming these mechanisms account for 20% of Mechagodzilla's total weight, 120,000 tons, and given their complexity, we estimate their cost to be double that of the frame, around $25,000 per ton. This would bring the total to $10.5 billion, roughly 189 billion Mexican pesos. But the challenges don't stop there. Moving a 600,000-ton colossus would require engines capable of generating enormous amounts of power. For comparison, a typical commercial airplane engine produces about 60,000 pounds of thrust. Mechagodzilla would need engines hundreds of times more powerful. Additionally, its hydraulic and articulation systems would have to endure extreme stress and continuous wear during battle. They would also need built-in redundancies and self-repair mechanisms to maintain functionality under combat conditions, adding even more to the cost and complexity. Four, extras and weaponry. Next level technology propulsion systems. Mechagodzilla is equipped with six propulsion systems resembling SpaceX's Starship engines, currently the most powerful rockets in the world. Each engine costs around $200 million, so for six, the total cost would be $1.2 billion, roughly 21.6 billion Mexican pesos. Proton Scream. Its most iconic weapon, the Proton Scream, could be compared to a portable Large Hadron Collider. The actual Large Hadron Collider costs $10 billion to build, but considering the Proton Scream's power will double the cost, adding $20 billion, approximately 360 billion Mexican pesos. Additional Equipment on top of its propulsion and weapons, Mechagodzilla is also equipped with mechanical saws, laser defense systems, and potentially self-diagnostic technology for repairs during combat. Factoring in these extras, the total cost for this section could easily exceed $25 billion. Final cost estimate. Adding everything together. Frame, 5.25 billion secondary materials. 6 billion engines and mechanisms. 10.5 billion propulsion systems, 1.2 billion proton scream, 20 billion additional equipment and development, 25 billion dollars. The total cost comes to 67.95 billion dollars, approximately 1.22 trillion Mexican pesos. Could Elon Musk do it? With an estimated fortune of $400 billion, Elon Musk could theoretically fund not just one, but six Mika Godzillas and still have enough left over to colonize Mars. However, money isn't the only obstacle. The technological barriers we face today, such as creating materials strong enough, engines powerful enough, and AI systems advanced enough, make this idea firmly rooted in fantasy for now. Conclusion. Building a Mechagodzilla remains more of a fantasy than science fiction. But it's a fascinating thought experiment that shows how far technology has come and how much further we have to go. If you enjoyed this analysis, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I see you in the next episode for the Monsterverse cartoon, your favorite channel for the monsters and kaijus.